All right, guys, this is your boy Tacho here, and today we are playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. I know it's been quite a while since I last did Dokkan Battle, but really quickly, I want to do a video talking about the new updates that they did to the World Tournament. All right, really quickly, we're just going to start off by collecting our prizes there. Wow, I got 11 Dragon Stones for logging in. Wow, what's going on, actually? Are they having something? I, I know the Golden Frieza event is supposed to drop very soon. The Tech Golden Frieza event, but I, I didn't see the banner up. And it looks like stones are on sale. I, I don't know, I might buy those. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to think about it. But anyway, guys, what I wanted to do here was just do a new video covering the updates they did to the World Tournament. Pretty much, they added the new Ambition System that they are calling it in Global, which... You can play the tournament on a higher difficulty, basically, and the higher the difficulty is, you'll be able to win more points and you'll be able to make it a quicker grind. And also, they changed how the rewards work. So, remember in the old days, pretty much you had to beat the tournament 80 times in a row, and that, or not in a row, but just get 80 wins to farm out all the mission prizes. And that was really tedious, because to beat it 80 times, guys, you had to play pretty much non-stop since the tournament starts, and straight on through the weekends and you, you had to no life the game basically to get 80 wins and they've made it a whole lot more lenient now you only need to win 20 times in a row though and it, it's a whole lot easier to get points now because you can just play on 20 times difficulty and you'll be winning so many points and they also added local ranking so really quickly we're going to go to the local ranking here I am ranked number 14 in my local ranking. I'm, I have a pretty easy division here. They break you up into groups of 300 players, basically. And what it is is whoever has the highest local ranking out of those 300 players is going to be ranked 1. I am, as I said before, ranked 14. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to be able to win a decent prize. What you win for the local ranking prizes is this new Piccolo here, this SSR Piccolo. And he's going to be able to awaken into an LR Piccolo. So... You definitely want to farm him, he's really good, especially on the Buhan team because he has shocking speed and he's a really defensive unit. He gives defense to everybody and he's got monster defense on his own and plus his leader skill is actually really interesting as well. So it might be possible actually guys to run double leads with two Piccolo cards and you're going to get so much HP that it might be worth it and I, I actually kind of want to try that out once he becomes an LR card but for now... We're not going to worry too much about that. So let me show you my teams before we get into the actual tournament. I have two teams. All right, so this is the first team here. This is just a nuking team. The idea is to just use this guy as a leader here. He gives tech types attack up 33% for every tech key sphere that we obtain. And you just use him with Majin Vegeta here so that... You can just nuke the field, use Puar and Oolong support items to change all the orbs into basically tech orbs and have this Majin Vegeta collect all of them so he can nuke the field even on 20 times difficulty, he'll be able to kill all the enemies. And the rest of my team, we have SS3 Vegeta, Super Vegito, and Golden Frieza. Their roles on this team is to block because, of course, I, I don't have the, the, leaders, the leader bonus from having mono teams, so... I'm not using a god lead, so my HP is going to be pretty low. And also, when you play tournaments, you don't get the leader skill from your friend character. So, that's even making it worse. So, I barely have a lot of health, so I have to really watch my health. But with these blockers in Golden Frieza, Vegeta, and Vegito, I might not be able... I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, guys, as usual. I, I don't take too much damage, because I have all these blockers to reduce damage for me. So, this is how I, use, I usually play the tournaments, but... I'm running out of Puar and Oolong cards, so I might have to use a different team. And this is another team that I have. It's a more conventional team, as you can see. All I'm pretty much using here is just cards that link well together. We're using Gogeta as the leader because, of course, he gives three key to everybody. And Super Vegito, we got Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. He's a blocker as well. And the friend character that I'd normally take on this team is another Super Vegito. So we'll have... Three blockers between the two Vegitos and the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And Broly and Gotenks are there because they hit hard and they link well with the team. So this is a more conventional team. It's a whole lot easier to use. And if you're out of the nuking items, the support items, you can always use a regular team to try and beat the 20x. So th this is the team I'm actually going to use today, the nuking team. Because it's a little different and 
it's a little bit of a change of pace. So let's get right into the tournament here. We're playing on 20x difficulty. All right, we're going to start. The, the one thing that the nuking team has a little trouble with is the preliminary round because I have to fight three teams and I only have two of each of the changing items. As you see, I have two Puars and two Oolongs here. I only have six Oolongs left, actually. So that's going to be two. In, I use two in the preliminaries and then I use one for the um, final round, one for the semifinal round, and one for the quarter fi quarterfinal round. So that's... I'm going to be using five Oolongs in this video, so I'm not going to be able to use this team again after this, but for the video, we're going to do it, and I'm going to show you guys how this nuking team works here. Alright, so here we go, guys. I chose the Cayenne Juggernaut Goku. I don't know why he's called that. He's not... Juggernaut is the last word that I would use to describe Goku. I would probably rather call Broly the Juggernaut, because he's got, like, the muscles and stuff, and... I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with Dragon Ball Super, but there's a new leaked image of some female turning into like a, a legendary Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball Super, and we're assuming that she's on the Universe 6 team, and that's a really interesting concept, man. A female Broly, guys, I, I, I don't know what to really make of that. Alright, so the idea here is actually to save all the yellow and the purple orbs for Vegeta, for Majin Vegeta. So I'm going to block Tao with Vegito there. And Frieza's gonna block those two at the end. So I'm just gonna collect all the orbs that are not tech or... I, I guess I'm just gonna collect all the orbs that aren't either green, purple, or yellow. Those are the ones that I need to change the field. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna try to speed through this. I don't know how long this tournament is gonna take. I'm only gonna do it once. And I, I might actually do a GSSR summon. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I have any tickets left. Because the funny thing is, I did all three, I, I did three GSSR summons. I can't even talk, guys. I did three GSSR summons, and I got the, the same exact card three times in a row, man. It was really ugly. I'm going to show you that after this. So, all right, we have, I still don't have Vegeta, actually. Majin Vegeta. This kind of sucks. Okay, so, I guess we'll block with Super Vegito, and we'll put Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta at the end there. And I'm just going to have no choice but to collect all these orbs. It's really a waste. I, I wish I could have just had Vegeta to change the orbs here, but we got a little unlucky there. All right, this actually might not be too unlucky because there's a lot of green orbs stacked over there. So let's see how this goes. So yeah, anyway, Dragon Ball Super, they leaked a whole ton of stuff. They showed all these new gods of destruction and all these really cool and interesting character designs and I, I just I don't know how it's gonna go I, I'm really excited to see where they take this all right so as I said we got a little lucky that all these green orbs are grouped together so I'm gonna get all of them with Vegeta and hopefully that'll be enough to nuke all these enemies here I'm gonna take those orbs with Vegito there and I'm gonna take those yellow ones with Gogeta so Luckily, if, if this is strong enough to nuke all these enemies, that means I'm going to be able to save my Puar and my Oolong for the other two fights. So usually I have a little bit of trouble in this fight because there's three opponents in the preliminaries and I only have two of the nuking items to use available. So we got a little lucky there. there there's a, quite a few intelligence type enemies there, so we weren't able to completely beat them. But that's okay because there's only one guy left on their team. Alright, so here we go, guys. They're, these two are about to fight each other, but that's not a big deal because they can barely hurt each other. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Alright, so here we go. We're going to finish this team off. I'm going to block him with Super Vegito. And I'm going to get all those green orbs with Vegeta, basically. So yeah, guys, this new the Universal Survival Arc in Dragon Ball Super, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be the... So basically the Universe 12 arc with all the 12 universes gathered together to have one big tournament. It's held by the Omni King because of Go pretty much he requests or I guess Goku kind of requested it after the end of the Universe 6 tournament where after the fight happened the Omni King showed up and he was talking about how he had a lot of fun watching the fights and he wanted to have another tournament just like it with all the universes involved. So we don't know how it's going to go just yet. 
As far as the new designs that they've revealed goes, there's some pretty cool looking gods of destructions. There's one of them that looks like a freaking elephant man. He's got like an elephant face. He's like a pink bubblegum looking. I, I don't even know, man. He, he looked interesting. And also there was one that looked like freaking Cleopatra. She was like like some Egyptian woman or something. I don't know. It, it might be interesting actually if she has something to do with beers and Champa because you know, in ancient Egypt, they these Egyptian pharaohs and like queens and stuff, they had these pet cats that looked really a whole lot like how Beers and Champa looked. So I wonder if that Cleopatra God of Destruction has anything to do with Beers and Champa. But I, I guess we'll find out in time, right? So anyway, okay, uh, am I even going to be able to do something good here? Ah, uh, man, this is gonna suck. I, I I don't know. I might have to take a hit here. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a hit. Okay, I'm gonna get all the red ones with Frieza there. Like I said, I'm gonna try my best to save all the green orbs and some other ones so that I can nuke the field with Vegeta. We're gonna take a hit from Gogeta here. I hope to God that he doesn't use a super attack on me because he will kill me if he does that. Alright, so Vegeta's gonna Vegito is gonna block Vegito there. Vegito blocked himself basically, and Gogeta's gonna attack their Gogeta, and then I'm gonna get hit, and that's gonna do a lot of damage. And we don't have wow, that, that sucks, man. We didn't pick up Vegeta, Majin Vegeta. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick up these orbs there. Again, we got a little lucky with all these green orbs grouped together there. So I actually might not have to end up using my support items. So this is still pretty useful. I'm gonna get Majin Vegito on the next round. So yeah, in other news, I, I actually wanted to record this video a little earlier today, but I live in New York and there's been some crazy weather lately. I, I don't know what's going on outside. It's like some crazy monsoon or something. I don't know. It's it's like a windstorm and the wind is so bad that I can hear it like trying to break my window down. <laughs> it's really crazy, guys. I, I couldn't sleep last night because it started late in the night and all I hear is like these banging sounds like bang bang it's like it sounds like someone's outside having a war like they're dropping bombs like legit guys it's it sounds like warfare outside of my house right now and it's all because of this freaking windstorm that's just completely destroying New York it, it, I don't know where this came from I don't think they announced it on the news or anything they just said it was going to rain and it's going to be like light rain and light thunderstorms. But that's bull, man, because it's a thunderstorm, basically. There's thunder, there's lightning, the wind is ridiculous. It's like a freaking hurricane out there. All right, so we made it past the preliminaries without using any support items, surprisingly. So I'm going to use, we're going to take this Majin Vegeta there. We're in the quarterfinal round now. I have two Majin Vegetas on my team this time. So hopefully I'm going to get lucky and draw one on the first turn so this doesn't take too much longer. From here on out, it's pretty much a breeze because the preliminary round, as I said, is the hardest one because I might not be able to get the nuke off in every single fight because there's three fights there and I only have two of the orb changing items. Alright, so here we go. Again, I'm getting unlucky. <laughs> I didn't draw a Majin Vegeta turn one, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this blue one there. Basically, anything that isn't purple, green, or yellow is what I'm going to pick up. So that I can change all the orbs in the next round. We, we're going to be able to block two of these attacks. And Tech, Tech um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku there. He's going to block Frieza. He doesn't reduce damage. But since Tech is strong against agility. We're not going to take too much damage. And here we finally have drawn Machin Vegeta. I'm going to switch the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in first. So that he can take those hits there. I'm going to pick up those yellow ones. And now we're going to use these items to change the orbs. So we use Puar first. He changes the yellow, or I guess she, changes the yellow orbs to purple. And then we use Oolong to change purple to green. Alright. I guess you could use all the other um, orb changing items if you want. But to me it just makes more sense to use two. Because then in case of emergency you still have the Senzu Beans and the Ghost Usher. So let me see which path is going to give us the most orbs. Alright, if we do this, we miss out on four green orbs. And if we go this way, we miss out on five. Okay, well actually, yeah, five. Okay, so we're going to go this way because we get more green orbs if we go that way. And I'm just going to give these red ones to Gogeta. Why not? In case somebody survives 
Gogeta is going to be able to finish them off with his super attack. Alright, so here we go. We're nuking the field with Majin Vegeta. Hopefully this kills all of them. I don't think they have any intelligence types on their team. So that should do the job. Yup, there we go. Alright, so let's keep going, guys. We got two more rounds. We've got the semifinal and then the final. Yeah, I really wish I made this video earlier, guys, because the tournament, they, they really changed how the tournament works, and if you didn't know how it worked beforehand, you might have been a little lost, but a lot of people are covering Dokkan battles, so I'm pretty sure the, in the information spread pretty quickly, so it's definitely out there. You, you should have known about it, I guess. I, I, I don't know, man, because I cover mainly Hunter x Hunter Battle All-Stars, and I'm going to try my best to cover... Fire Emblem Heroes once that game comes out because I'm a huge fan of Fire Emblem and it's a Fire Emblem gacha game basically and it's coming out February 2nd so I, I'm going to want to cover that a lot on the channel. I, I don't know there's so many Dokkan YouTubers that it, it's a little hard for I don't know if it's hard but I, I just don't see really how I could make a place for myself doing just Dokkan. Alright so here we go. This is the semi-final round. I was lucky enough to draw a Vegeta, Majin Vegeta first turn, and he also has Super Attack 10 because he's a friend. Alright, we're going to change the field right now. We're going to use Puar first, and then Oolong after that. Alright, so now we're going to pick up all these green orbs and nuke the field, hopefully. They don't have any intelligence types. It kind of sucks that there's a whole lot of rainbow orbs because those aren't giving me the attack boost from my leader skill because it's only for tech orbs it doesn't work if I pick up the rainbow ones there all right so I miss out on having three green orbs if I go that way and if I go this way I miss out on no actually I miss four if I go that way and if I go this way I miss four as well so it really makes little difference I, I guess I'm just gonna go this way we're gonna give these red ones to Majin Vegeta and I guess Vegito can take the blue ones there. Alright, so hopefully this is enough to nuke them. I didn't pick up too many orbs that time. But we'll see how it goes. It looks like it's going to be strong enough. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we wiped them out completely. Alright, we got one more round to go after this, guys. It's the final round. This one can be a bit tricky, if, especially if the enemies have, like, LR Goku, because his stats are so high and his level is so high that he does a ton of damage. Even if you reduce the damage, like, if you block him with Super Vegito, you still take, like, 10,000 damage, and that's really scary to think about. Because Super Vegito reduces damage by 80% when he blocks, and that guy can still do so much damage, it's crazy. Alright, here we go. This is the final round, guys. Alright, here we go. So, which way am I going to go? I'm going to go pick up the purple capsule over there. Yeah, let, let's just see if I can get a good item that time. Alright, I'm going to go this way. We're, we're just moving straight to the enemy at this point. And we're going to land right on him. Okay, so here we go. This is the final fight. Hopefully I can finish him off in this one round. Okay, yeah, we. this, is, this looks like a pretty good setup here. I'm going to take the red orb with Frieza. Frieza's going to block all the, the attacks this turn, and then I'm just going to change the orbs, and we're going to nuke them. And hopefully this is strong enough to finish them off. On, on the final round in 20x, the final opponents have a ton more health, and all their stats are a whole lot higher than in the other rounds. So, all right, there we go. We're going to pick up all of those. That That's definitely going to be strong enough to kill all the enemies. So here we go, guys. And... The good thing about Golden Freeze is that he even blocks super attacks. So if they do a super attack on me, I'm still going to be safe. And here we go. Majin Vegeta is now going to wipe the board, I hope. Alright, yeah, it looks like he's going to be strong enough to kill all the enemies there. Alright, and there you go, guys. We finished 20x difficulty with the nuking team. I showed you the strategy there for nuking all the enemies. And it's also a good strategy because... You get more points when you pick up more orbs on the field, so that's definitely good. I got a Battle of Gods Whis item there. I, I don't really care about that. I was hoping to get an Elder Kai or a either Elder Kai or Supreme Kai. And I only have to do the tournament one more time. I've beaten it 19 times in a row. My local ranking went up. I'm now at rank 12, it looks like. So let's take a look at these mission rewards now. 
I have to get to 20 million points to get this final reward there. I'm going to probably do that tomorrow. I just need one more win to get three SSR tickets. And 20 wins will give me the 10 gravity items, the training material there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me see if I have enough GSSR summoning tickets to do a quick summon here. And it doesn't look like I do. But after I win three, I'll, I'll have enough to do a single summon. Let me show you guys really quickly the, the trolling that happened to me. So I did, I did three GSSR tickets on the banner already. And look at what I got. I got this guy here three times in a row. Like, come on. What are the odds of getting the same exact card three times, man? I, I don't even know, but I'm not even mad because check this out, guys. Hold on. I'm not even mad about it. Even though I should be mad, I'm not because what I can do is actually awaken them all and feed them into this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here. And I'm going to get a 100% chance to raise his super attack. And this card gets an awakening in the future and he's going to be a monster. So I can't wait to do that. It's pretty cool that I basically just pulled three Elder Kai's to feed to him because he's going to do 100%. I think, actually, I don't remember if it's 80% or 100% times that he raises his attack when he does a super. And he also gives himself a bunch of key at the start of the turn. So he becomes a monster when he awakens. And I can't wait to awaken him there. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I guess it wasn't that good of a video, but I, I, I don't know, man. I'm still learning the commentary and all of that. So anyway, guys, this is Tacho signing out, and I hope you had fun watching me do the tournament there. So that's it, guys. Cheers, and have a good day.